Hi, welcome to www.xloptim.com and equilibrate.com. So, let's start. Let's talk about now uh, trip distribution. Equilibrate does include a facility, a, a, a utility for calibrating and applying trip distribution models. So, let's see uh, what we can do with it. So we go to Equilibrate, Transportation Modeling, Trip Distribution, and we have all the models, both calibration and application, inside the same uh, tool, inside the same uh, interface. Um, so let's do, why not, uh, cali calibration before. So the input matrix is the observed matrix. This database is all in Portuguese, as this is the the database for the national uh, freight planning model that I'm current involved with. So origin, destination, and the flow. The impedance matrix that they observed um, is the cost, zone of origin, zone of destination, and distance. And what are the parameters? What is my maximum trip length? For this, the maximum trip length that I can have is around 6,000, anything more than 6,000 is a flag to be uh, disregarded. So let's keep a really high convergence level. Let's calibrate a synthetic gravity um, exponential. Uh, gamma is currently not available. Friction factors are also currently not available. I'm going to add these features as we go along. Uh, if you are a programmer, and feel free to uh, request the access to the Git uh, repository and contribute to the software development. So let's choose a file, uh, an output. So let's uh, go here, Equilibrate. And this is a Expo model result of the calibration. Press Save. I'm going to calibrate. So see, it's a fully threaded feature once again, fully threaded interface. You can this will not freeze. Uh, loading other matrices, okay. Uh, finalized. We can go there now and uh, see what it generated. First of all, generated the file we wanted. So the beta for that exponential model, it's this. But it also generates a file with the same name, underscore log, which tells you what you did. You did cal gravity calibration. You calibrated a exponential model. Uh, the imp impedance matrix you use, uh, with what it was, which fields you used. The observed matrix, what it was, which fields you used, and uh, uh, the convergence uh, parameters. So it calibrated to 4.4 10, 10 to the minus 8 and 6, inter six uh, iterations. So um, this way, uh, if you're not quite sure, if you use the right parameters, you can go back and see if whether you uh, use the, the right parameters. So we can close. Um, if we want to do something else, we can do something, uh, let's do something uh, silly here. Let's say apply for TAR. Uh, the observed vectors are going to be zone, production, attraction. Uh, or no, let's apply the model we just, uh, we just um, estimated, calibrated, why not? So it's an exponential model. I'm going to copy the parameter. An exponential. I'm gonna put the beta there, um, and the vectors are observed vectors, zone, production, and attraction. The costs, the impedance matrix is the cost, zone of origin, zone of destination, and distance. Global parameters: the maximum cost again, around thousand. Put a really high number of uh, a really uh, high level of convergence. Um, and 
let's again go back to our folder and apply expo. So I'm just going to apply the model. I'm going to load the cost matrix. This is the most time consuming and it's time consuming uh, because I'm using the QJS interface. Uh, if I load the text file straight to Python, it's much faster. But this way, I allow the user to use the interface and not deal with file names and such. So let's close. And let's see again, generated the matrix there. Uh, and this matrix is in, um, we can open it and see the format. Uh, or we can actually uh, open in Notepad++ and you're gonna see the from, to, and flow it's there and also generates the log again what it did, we did gravity application use the expo, the exponential model uh, the beta was this one 0, 6.7, 10 to the minus 4 the observed vectors came from this file and the fields used were these, zone, prod, and natra. Um, impedance matrix was this file uh, with these three fields. Uh, and it converged after nine iterations uh, with 3.4, 10, 10 to the minus 5. So you, you, you can make sure you applied uh, the model uh, right or, make, or see you did it wrong for sure and, and go back and reapply. So, uh, and you can go, you can go, go ahead and use a FRATAR, where you're going to give the vectors in the seed matrix. You can choose to initialize the, mat the, the, the seed matrix or not with a, a given parameter. And, uh, but it's everything very analogous. So this was trip distribution in Equilibrate. Feel free to use, download, test. This should work in any platform out of the box. Test it, report mistakes, report bugs, fix the code, request access to the Git repository, contribute, and hope it's useful. Uh, see you soon.